Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I've got more TF2 commentary. And this video is quite an interesting video. I will be talking about the things that I do good, as well as some bad stuff. As you can see, I'm playing as a pyro, rocking, of course, the degreaser flag on an extinguisher. And this was a very long match. As you can see right here, I'm trying to push that crits heavy away. Almost get taken out on the pros. Just get a lucky flare on the scout, so he can't really chase me down without the consequence of him possibly dying. With low health, I for some reason go behind him, mess everything up, still get the kill on the so I have no clear I have no clue how this all happened though. Taking the health first, so if the heavy turns around I could take a hit, but the demo man behind me actually hit me instead of the heavy. And I took the health pack and that made sure I would, you know, live. Do get two nice flares on him, but he has the shield on that protects him from fire and explosive damage. So I didn't get the kill on him, unfortunately, but still quite impressive from my perspective, I think. I'm not sure, it wasn't planned out, I'm not gonna lie, it was just a reaction. And apparently it made me live through it and actually do some good stuff there as well. Always nice to get some uh, sentries taken out as well before they are being built. Because in this match, sentries are such a pain... Such a pain in the ass, and you will see that during this video. And some of you guys already saw a sneak preview of what's going to happen during this uh, gameplay as well. And if you are wondering what kind of sneak peek are you wondering about, I've uploaded it yesterday, a fragment. And uh, if you don't know what I'm on about, then either make sure to be subscribed, obviously. As well as either follow me on Twitter or Facebook, links below. And I, I usually keep updates going there. And if I have a sneak peek, I usually let people know on those things as well. And as you can see, they are having a lot of medic heavy combos. Which is unfortunately for a pyro, because you can't really burst people down as well. Do get the scout here once again with the flare, ki flare crit, actually. And flare crits, uh, you know, after the initial uh, ignition of, or igniting of the player, you can pretty much easily take them out because they can't really do anything. The moment they start burning, most uh, for most scouts, they start to run away. Actually get a crit on a pyro here, th which is quite rare for it to happen because, you know, pyros don't really ignite as well. But did get the crit on him, so that was quite fun. But like I was saying, a flare combo is quite nice for scouts because usually scouts start to run away when they see pyros and you can't really get to them. Uh, you know, when you have a shotgun, because, you know, the shotgun has a very short range to be very effective. Flare gun, not so much, assuming the scout is burning. 90 crit damage, which I'm have to burn, and they are done for, unless they really easily find a medic pack, but that, if that's the case, they are still out of your way, and they don't really bother you anymore. And so many heavies, and I'm just trying to harass them, because I don't want to get, you know, face first into a heavy, which is so annoying, because there are so many heavies, and we are trying to push up the second here. We have mid for quite some time now. We never lose mid, I believe. Unfortunately, we can't push up due to the uh, team setup we have. Almost died. Trying to take cover behind the pillar as well as the direct corner. Assuming he had a shotgun, which apparently he did not have. Or even if he had, he did not use it on me. I can see the crits heavy incoming, but I try to take cover. Try to do some harassment with the flare, but I get taken out by a stray nade. And that's something I can't really, you know, that's something I can't really do anything about it. Unless I had a 360 degree angle to look at all times. And I was trying to make sure to keep the heavy you know, in view so I can... Uh, at least so I could calculate where to go without having to die. Unfortunately, I didn't take nades into the equation. Saving the heavier as well from the back-burning pyro. Unfortunately, I believe he got not backstabbed, but taken out by a crit rocket or just a regular rocket. So I didn't see the rocket incoming, otherwise I would have probably... Uh, attempt to reflect it, but I did save him. I tr at least I tried to save him, and then the first things that could have killed him, I did save him from. Unfortunately, I did not actually save him. In the end, it doesn't really matter here. Trying to do some harassment with the flag, and because this part of this specific map is very, very obnoxious for pyros, because it's really open, and unless you have a flag, you can't really do a lot. Trying to take out some, t you know, trying to take the teleport out with some W1ing here. Not sure why the engineer didn't react to that, so that's probably the uh, luck on my side or a lack of skill on his side that's a that's a very handsome spy there rocking of course my uh, my wizard pyro look because apparently the the demon pyro look I had that I showed you guys uh, a few videos back that basically has been disabled because they fixed clipping issues and now the clipping of those two specific items is even more weird it doesn't look awesome anymore trying to take the medicare out instead of the heavy Obviously, because I can't take the heavy out, especially when he's overhealed. So always go for the medics if you can. And it was very risky, because if that heavy saw me and turned around a little bit earlier, I would have died. 
trying to get some flare gun hits here on that pyro. As you can see, not very effective. And I believe he tries to do the same on me, but I got lucky enough to actually make sure he stays away from me and his flare gun doesn't hit me. Otherwise, I probably would have died. It's always, uh, always very annoying. And he, I see him running to mid, and I did not see our sentry there. And he gets taken out by the sentry, but I did chase him down, possibly into the sentry. So I'm gonna take credit for that kill anyway, because I'm just that guy. <laughs> um, talking about sentries on this specific map, it's obnoxious because, uh, like I already said it about our team setup, it's just really bad. Oh, this, by the way, is a very good part, I believe, when there is a... Oh, no, that's, that's further up. There's a very interesting part with the soldier up on that ledge, which I quite enjoyed. Do get the kill here, I believe, on a... Uh, on a scout, if I'm not mistaken. No, uh, the map confuses me because I know how I, I can basically remember anything. And this video initially was 30 minutes long. This match, almo well, almost took me 30 minutes. And this video is about 12 to 13 minutes. So you have to imagine how much random stuff I had to edit out. Stuff that I was just looking for opening. Stuff that I was just looking around trying to do something as a pyro. Specifically on that point. Because like I was saying, it's very hard to do anything. Especially with so many heavies. Trying to get the air shot with the flag on here. Fail because he gets taken out by the air nade. Is what I saw. Do get the kill on the scout now. Finally, I got mistaken with the amount of time in the video. And get taken out by the crits. Because everything is so open. And I did not see the crits on that medic. And unfortunately... I paid the iron price for it, if you like, which is unfortunate. But the, the one thing that I can do on this ledge here is just making sure that I can, you know, harass with the flare gun and possibly kill if I can get close to him. Mini sentry is still very annoying, but I luckily have enough have a, um, you know, a medic with me. And this is a this is the interesting part with the soldier. Like he's just shooting rockets at me. I believe Liberty launchers, and I'm just reflecting them. No harm for me. I still get the reflect here, which was quite funny because you never ever ever shoot a direct rocket, no matter how fast you can shoot, to a pyro that knows you are there. You just don't do it. By the way, really stupid mistake. Trying to take out that teleporter. Unfortunately, I should have been more aware of my surroundings because there was another teleporter there. Trying to get the kill. Do get the melee hit, as you heard, but it just wasn't enough because, you know, I have the S300, the extinguisher crit on a, uh, you know, on a class that, does, uh, that already is on fire. There's 195 if I'm not mistaken, and with some afterburn it's just not enough to take that heavy out. Do, re you know, nice reflecting that crit rocket, would have killed me otherwise. Do help the soldier rocket jump, but I believe he's going to die anyway because of the shield pass right here. Very nice, but, you know, it it was really lucky on my side that I was able to crit, or at least reflect that crit rocket, otherwise I would have died, and then possibly more people would have died. And this is where it gets interesting. You haven't seen the sentry nest yet. Because I have mainly uh, edited those out because we were basically turtling while we were, well, we had to push forward and we were basically turtling. And all our uh, all our engineers, they did not, did not have any wranglers, none whatsoever. I believe this is the sentry position right here. As you can see, there's one, and there were two to three sentries right here. And as you can see, or as you can already understand, that is kind of hard to then push up because a lot of your people are in the back trying to you know work on the sentries which is kind of nice to hold your own position but it doesn't help with pushing almost died to that nade as well you know a lot of people walk over nades or get closer to nades if they are trying to get out but you can also just sit in the corner take a little bit of damage and then walk out a lot of people miss under or misjudge that and sometimes i still misjudge that as well as you can see right here trying to get two demo mans on my own with as a pyro getting a little bit cocky which then also made sure that i died so kind of stupid so never go alone in an open space against multiple people as a pyro no matter how confident you are it's one of the first rules you should actually learn as close combat i suppose and i just kind of you know negated one of the most important rules as a pyro close quarter combat not open field combat i suppose and it, it is it is kind of frustrating for me this match because like i was saying this match took me about 20 to 30 minutes so i lost i lost focus at some point because we were just constantly doing the same thing and I could not do anything else. I could have switched classes but I was determined to play a pyro and I believe we. I am the only at least at the start of this match I was the only pyro if I'm not mistaken don't quote me on that. At least I didn't saw any well present pyros on my other team. As you can see here trying to hit the medic here to harass then I realized it was a bad idea because it would have given away my uh, position. This is by the way where I showed that fragment 
I was basically helping out the engineer, and this engineer didn't have a Wrangler, which blew my mind, because if you're going to put a sentry in an open field, at least have a Wrangler. And I'm just trying to reflect anything he can put at me, like rockets I'm trying to reflect, I'm, you know, reflecting pipes. And I'm also taking metal, and you guys can say, the metal's for the engineer, but at the same time, if I didn't have enough air blast ammo, or at least, you know, the greaser ammo, I wouldn't be able to air blast all those rockets and pipes to keep the sentry alive to begin with. And I am indeed not aiming quite well. This is like the part where I actually start aiming my air blasts. Because I was so focused in getting those reflects. Also reflecting the crit rocket which would have killed me and possibly the engineer. So at least I'm doing something right. But at the same time I also have to understand that I'm not checking my back. Which means I'm very open to spies and all kinds of bad stuff. Now I know that on the other side there are a lot of sentries. So they can't really flank us from that side. Unless they have to put a lot of effort into it. So they could have come through the house, and I believe their spy on that team actually does. And I am also aware that their spy is not as good as they want them to be. This is why I'm also not really that paranoid, because once a spy gets decent, you know how paranoid I get, guys. You have seen my previous videos when I just get so frustrated with, like, spies. As you can see here, he tries to backstab me, fails at backstabbing me. I believe he DR'd there, not entirely sure. Yeah, he did. Oh, there's another spy as well, so I guess that's why we messed up here, because I expect one spy, not two. Do get out, do get a kill with both my degreaser and my flare gun. So that's quite a need to uh, make sure to defend yourself. That was apparently a spy as well, which kind of threw me off with the crits. Anyway, this is my pyro video, guys. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the description box for more links and more content. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.